Hi everybody, this is Stacy from SAS Custom Holsters. Stuart had asked me to send uh, some pictures and some comments to him about uh, his curved holster jig and how I use it. Um, he said he doesn't have time to, right now to do a video because he's so busy building the vacuum formers. Um, and I received mine last Wednesday. Um, it's Tuesday now, the following week. Uh, had a gun show over the weekend, and since I've received it, I've done about 40 to 50 holsters, and I've scrapped three. So, Stuart asked me to kind of give a tutorial on how I, I do it. Number one, I use, obviously, the multi-mold as much as I can. Because this gun is the best mold gun you can get. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Tony does an awesome job, and thank you, Tony. Uh, but if you're using a blue gun, you need to take some measures and prep the gun. Number one, block out the trigger guard with, you know, use some clay or, or whatever you got. Um, now, for the, as far as the sight channel goes... <clears throat> For the vacuum press and the curved holster jig, I highly recommend, if you're doing a right-handed holster, to offset your sight channel. That way when you lay it down, the vacuum former is going to pull the sight channel down towards the center. Uh, I don't care how good you tape it up, it's still going to move it down a little bit. And also the curvature of the, 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 the holster itself on the curved holster jig will allow for the sight to go into that sight channel. If you're doing a left hand, you need to beat it over on the left hand side. Uh, unless you're mocking up your blue guns just like multi-mold did, dur, did durs uh, and putting clay down the sides and then taping it. Make sure you heat up the clay before you tape it and that will give you some rigidity on your sight channel. Um, that's also an option. But let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to heat up some Kydex here and show you guys how I do it. And then I'll show you the after, after, uh, after effect of the holster there. All right, guys. I lay my Kydex. I use 8x8 eight eight sheets, I lay my Kydex right there, and I go to the end of the Kydex with my barrel, and I center it on the curved holster jig, and I make sure, and I pull it back, I make sure the handle is completely up on the, the support here, and I grab my other piece. And I lay it edge to edge, and I start my vacuum. And that's it. That's all I do. Exactly what I'm 
I'm talking about. This is leaps and bounds over over the book press that I use. And, and now I'm going to shut off the vacuum pump. That's all the longer I let it run. Um, it's already cooling down, so um, I'll let that sit there maybe two to three minutes and then we'll uh, take it out of there and start the process of cutting it out and everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some other Kydex ready for the other gun and I'll be right back with you. And then I just pop it out of the uh, vacuum former here and this is the end result. Just pop it off there and great definition perfect curvature the ends I like covering the end of the barrel just or the end of the gun just a little bit um, look at that I mean once I get this all cut out and I'll show you that here in a little bit uh, it's it's perfect um, all of my customers this weekend that, that bought these uh, that have bought in the past from me are just astounded by how perfectly this fits their bodies uh, so now I'm going to do one with the blue gun um, I'll show you that here in just a second do the blue gun the same way just down to the end centered on the jig make sure your handles all the way up on the the uh, flat part here and grab your other piece kydex Square it up on the bottom. And start your back. <laughs> this this part of the handle up on this flat part you know you, you're going to do fine every time you're not going to be able to do like a 22 degree cant possibly I haven't tried that yet but the 15 degree cant still works out you just got to pay attention to everything and like I said your sight channel if you notice the sight channel is pulled down a little bit and it's going to come out perfect show you that once I get the holster all done and together but Stuart man I, I, I can't say it enough you did an excellent job uh, and I'm glad you're you're taking the time to build these for us and uh, build your business with just the vacuum formers and, and leave us to the Kydex holsters right now I know you're probably itching to build your Kydex holsters but Brother, keep up with good work on the on the vacuum former. All right, guys, I went ahead and uh, got everything cut out and, and uh, put all the hardware on it for the, uh, the holsters, <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. Um, after taking it off the there and cutting everything out, you get that perfect curvature. And if you notice, it's a it's it's more of a 90-10 split um, instead of a 50-50 mold like you would get if you was to do a press um, I don't know what to tell you as far as it's it's a lot more comfortable. Uh there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. When I first got this, I made one for my shield that I carry, and I wore it outside the pants for two days, inside the pants for a day, day and a half, and there is just nothing that compares to this uh, out there that I make. Uh, it, it's perfect. Uh, the, 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 the mold is... 
100% spot on. Uh, fits in there perfect. I mean, you don't have to heat anything up and, and relieve or, or press in or, or anything. Stuart done one heck of a job on the vacuum former. Tony done one heck of a job on the multi-molds. Um, the, I used the injection molded uh, push over the belt clips. That way you can move them around the front and use it as an inside waste holster also. <clears throat> but that's the, the, the multi-mold I used. I'll show you the, uh, the uh, blue gun I, I did. I just want you to see that the sight channel on this one is perfect every time. There's no there's no movement whatsoever. Um, let me go ahead and grab the uh, the other one and show you from the blue gun. Uh, again, perfect curvature. It's a, about a ninety ten mold. Perfect. Uh, definition when you uh, when you use a gun that has the uh, the rails on it make sure you tape up the rails just a uh, just an FYI if you don't tape up the rails you're going to get a lot of unnecessary retention and I believe John from Filster covered this a long long time ago uh, you're, you're going to get it's going it's going to feel gritty you want that smooth in and out um, every time now what I was telling you about offsetting your sight channel earlier if you would look down here and watch the gun go in and see where the sight is in comparison to the sight channel it is dead center perfect and it works great I don't know why it does that, but it just does. If you put it in the center, it's not going to work right. You're going to wind up actually being right up here in this this groove right here. If you if you put it in the center, this I, I don't know why I can't explain it, but uh, the first holster I did, I didn't junk it, but I learned it right away. Um, with perfect definition. Beautiful, beautiful mold every time. You just have to take the time to tape up your, your blue gun if you have blue guns. I highly, highly recommend buying the multi molds. Um, they're well worth the money. Guys, uh, I hope this helps you out. Stuart, I hope this helps your customers out. Thank you very much for making an awesome product. Uh, keep up the good work, and I hope you develop something new very soon. Uh, I want to try something different. I'm always in the market for new stuff. Tony, multi-holsters, thank you very much. You did a great job on the multi-molds. Multi um, guys, I haven't even attempted a, a uh, Taka holster yet or a fold-over. Um, I'll try to get that here in the next week or two and, and, and work on that. I think Stuart had a nice video on that. Uh, hopefully that works out for you. Um, Tony from Auto Holsters definitely had a really nice video on that. I just don't know that I can afford extra, extra multi-mold guns to cut in half. Um, Tony... If you're going to start selling those, please let us know because that would be great. Uh, already cut in half and uh, ready for the taco jigs. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Uh, check me out on Facebook, SAS Custom Holsters. Um, check me out on the Internet, www.sascustomholsters.com. If you want to email me, sascustomholsters at yahoo.com. Or you can just call me at 937-489-8320. I'll answer any questions you have. Um, have a good night. Thank you.